Hey, what is going on everyone? This is our reviews back with another video and today I will show you guys 25 settings that you should change on your device in order to optimize your iPhone. That includes security, performance, battery life, and privacy as well. So before I get into all that, I just want to ask you guys if you haven't already, make sure you go ahead and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. So let's get started. Here are 25 settings that will help you optimize your device. The first one is found under the cellular settings. So go to settings, go to the cellular section and just scroll all the way down and you will find here iCloud Drive. Now make sure you turn this off. Leaving this on will upload stuff to your iCloud Drive even when you're on cellular data. So if you have like a limited cellular data plan, you want to turn this off in order to upload to the drive only when you're connected to the Wi-Fi, not to the cellular network. The next setting is found under Siri and search and here you will find Siri suggestions. So you will have Siri suggestions enabled on search, which is the spotlight Then you have in lookup and on the lock screen as well. Now, what I suggest you do is go ahead and go to the list of apps that you have right here and just make sure you configure this for the apps that you don't need to see on the spotlight search or on Siri suggestions. So just basically go ahead and turn these off. So if you turn this off here, show in search, that means that the results from that app won't be shown on the spotlight search if you of course don't need them. If you go to your notification settings, you will find here Siri suggestions. Now what this will do is that it will send you notifications from Siri with Siri suggestions of course. Now here you will find a list of all the apps that you have installed on your device. Now of course you don't need Siri to send you notifications for all these apps because that of course will only drain battery and also will reduce the performance because every like notification, everything that is done on the iPhone will take CPU performance. So what you wanna do is just go ahead, configure, turn off the apps from which you don't need to have Siri suggestion notifications. If you go under the privacy settings on your settings app, you will find here Bluetooth, microphone and camera as well. Now here, if you go, let's say to Bluetooth, you will see all the apps that currently have access to your Bluetooth and can use the Bluetooth. The same goes here for the camera. So all these apps can use the camera on my iPhone as well as the microphone right here. Now what I suggest you do is go ahead, take a look at these apps that have these permissions and make sure you turn off the apps to which you don't want to give permission. Now, of course, when you install a new app, it will ask you for all these permissions and you might just go ahead and tap OK, 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 and not even take a look at it and just grant access to your camera or your microphone or even your Bluetooth. So go ahead, take a look at them and turn off the ones that you don't want to have access to your Bluetooth camera or microphone. On the camera settings, what I suggest you change here is the format. So if you go to formats, make sure you use high efficiency which means that the pictures will be on size they will be smaller so they will take less space on your device so if you have like problems with the storage you have low storage on your iphone use high efficiency photos always also another setting right here keep normal photo when hdr is enabled so when you take an hdr photo it will also keep the normal photo that means that you will have basically duplicates of pictures that you take make sure you turn that off under display and brightness, you will find rise to wake. This setting will wake up the screen of your iPhone whenever you take it out of your pocket or just basically pick it up from a table or somewhere. Of course, that's a pretty cool feature, but that consumes battery as it's always like waiting for the iPhone to be moved. So go ahead and turn that off. Also, make sure you always keep auto brightness on. Of course, I have this off now for the video, but always keep it on. Auto brightness will basically adjust the brightness of your screen based on the ambient light. And that's really awesome. Of course, it will be good for your eyes and also for the battery of your iPhone. Keeping it on manual, you can just not all the time when you go into a dark environment, just go ahead and turn down the brightness manually. That's like very like annoying to do, but keep on auto brightness and it will do it automatically for you. Now auto brightness can be found under settings, accessibility, display and text size, just scroll all the way down. Under face ID and passcode, here are a few settings that you should configure. 
one require attention for face id that will make your face id more secure as it will need your full attention in order to unlock your iphone and the other one attention awareness features now what this does is basically it tracks you when you're looking at your iphone it won't like ring the iphone with loud sound or the notifications will have just like a slight a low sound you it basically it just when you're looking at the screen it will know it and will just like send more silent notifications also lower here you will find allow access when locked all these things here that are enabled can be accessed on your iphone even though you have your iphone locked now what you want to do is go ahead and of course turn most of these off so no one can have access to these things when your device is locked Another thing I suggest you should change is under sound and haptics, vibrate on ring. When you have your iPhone on ring, you don't need, of course, vibration because vibration takes a lot of battery. Make sure you turn that off as well. Under iTunes and App Store, make sure you go ahead and enable offload unused apps. What this does, it basically removes unused apps from your device so they won't take any space there. It will still save their documents so if you ever need that app again, go ahead and install it and you will have all your stuff there. Also go ahead and disable here in app ratings and reviews. Basically it will stop pop-ups from showing in apps or games and asking you to rate them or review them on the app store. Another setting you should change here under iTunes and App Store is app downloads now if you go here now you will have the ability to download any size apps using cellular data now this you configure based on the cellular plan that you have if you have unlimited data of course you can go ahead and always allow it and then you can also choose this one which is basically the be best one ask if over 200 megabytes under privacy here you can find a setting which i suggest you should change going ahead and going to privacy go to advertising limit ad tracking go ahead and enable that basically what this does is it will basically limit like sites from tracking you and showing you advertisements from side to side and always make sure you go into the safari settings and clear the history and the website data now history not that much but website data will take a lot of space on your device if you don't clean it regularly there will be a ton of data just taking up unnecessary space so make sure you do that regularly under privacy you will of course find location services now i always suggest that you should go ahead and take a look at the apps that have permission to your location services which of course consumes a ton of battery so what you want to do is take a look at the apps and see which apps have permission and make sure to turn it off for ones that you don't need and just leave on when using the app for the ones that you need scrolling down here we'll also find system services and here are all the system services that are using your location basically consuming power out of the cpu and battery life as well make sure you turn these off here just leave on the ones that you need like let's say emergency calls right there that should be on of course find my iphone that should be on but like stuff like setting time zones I don't think that's really necessary i don't think we change our time zones a lot so go ahead and turn off all the ones that you don't need under the notification settings you should go ahead and take a look at the notifications here and of course configure them so not all the apps will send you notifications like there are apps and games that you don't need to have notifications from them but what i suggest you do is go to show previews and choose never or maybe even when unlocked if you leave it at always it will always show a preview of your notifications even if your device is locked that means that if you get a message or something that's important or maybe very private it will show you the message on the screen with the notification and always make sure you configure your emergency contacts or go to emergency sos set up emergency contact and what this allows you to do is go ahead and set the emergency contact just tap here it will take you to your contacts and just enter any one of your contacts and then that contact will be contacted in case of an emergency and always make sure you configure your auto download so under itunes and app store you will have music apps books and audiobooks and app updates so of course sometimes you maybe have low battery on your iphone or you're like connect to your cellular data you don't want the apps 
the music and all that to download automatically go ahead go to itunes and app store and make sure to turn these off right here you can of course manually update them when you have battery and of course you're connected to your wi-fi network when it comes to battery and performance background app refresh is really important so what you need to do go to settings go to background app refresh and make sure the first first of all you leave it here on wi-fi so the apps will only refresh in the background when you're connected to the wi-fi and then you will have a list of all of your apps of course most of them you don't need to be refreshed in the background some of them of course you need to leave it on so go ahead and configure here all the apps which you don't want to refresh in the background that way you will save a ton of power cpu power and battery life as well on your iphone now with ios 13 of course we have the dark mode which is really really awesome now what i suggest you do is go ahead and turn this into automatic and just basically choose here light dark appearance you can see sunset to sunrise or a custom schedule which you can use and that will enable it automatically now having dark mode on not to really look cool but it will also help battery life if you, if you have an iphone with an oled display like an iphone 10 10s 10s max of course and the iphone pro if you have any one of them with dark mode on you will have longer battery life as all the pixels that are black are actually turned off on the display that way you will save a ton of battery under the cellular settings make sure you always leave on low data mode now what this does is that it will reduce the cellular data usage from apps that way you will save a ton of data on your cellular plan like if you have a limited plan you should go ahead and enable low data mode which of course can be found under the cellular settings and last but not least is optimized battery charging this is a new feature with ios 13 and it is really really useful it will help your battery life in the long run so the battery lifespan will be longer if you enable it so go to battery and go to battery health and make sure you leave on optimized battery charging so that is it for this video guys these are 25 settings that you should configure on your device in order to optimize it basically get better performance better battery life privacy and security as well i hope you guys enjoyed the video don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed it also don't forget to subscribe for more and i will see you guys on the next one